back to Deke Care Girl Outdoors. Today we're going to be going over some of my old fishing tackle, including three or four lures, a rod, and a reel. First up, we have this Great Lakes fishing reel. Oh, it's a bait caster. This reel was made in 1952 in Detroit, Michigan. It's one of my personal favorites due to the fact that it really doesn't bird's nest. Although I don't use it very often because I'm afraid it's going to break. It's engraved with a little bass jumping out of the water. Next up, we have my one of my favorite reels. The Shakespeare Wonder Rod. It's a two-piece combo. I really enjoy this rod. It does have a small amount of damage on one of the eyelets. The eyelet is cut. Next up, we have two head and river rods. This brown and red one here was made in the late 40s, around 1947. And this red and yellow, or red and white plastic one was made around 1975. They're both old type, old types of crankbait, both with little hardware on them. As you can see, this hardware makes it so that the hook can only go so far forward. Next up, we have a hula popper. This one was made in the late 40s, early 50s. Same type of little hardware. Hooks on this one got a little rusty. But it's all original. The skirt was all crusty, so I took it off. But it's very good. Nice at least. We have a Meps Giant Killer. This one is a musky lure that was made in France. It is a size 5 treble hook. Got bucktail on the back and rooster tail. My grandpa gave me this lure a while ago. And I've never caught a fish on it, but I tried. The way I prefer to rig it is pretty cyst is a pretty common way. And then I like to throw these little river runts. They've got a nice action on them. And they swim pretty deep considering that they're in wooden plastic. Especially considering that the red one's hollow. This video's shout out goes out to Mr. McCarty, my seventh grade civics teacher. Thanks for the 50 cents.